Refer to the first scene of your storyboard to type, resize, and lay out the text you will be animating. Choose the text tool, then go to the character panel and change the size to 72px or pixels to use as a starting point. Click in your composition image frame where the first word from your first storyboard scene will roughly appear. Then type the word. Click on the selection tool, then click on the text tool. Type the next word in your storyboard scene. Continue repeating this process until you have all of the words from your storyboard scene typed on the screen. Use the Select tool and click on one of the words you created. Then click on the lower right hand corner handle. Drag the handle to make the word larger. As you start to drag the handle, click a Shift key on your keyboard to make sure the word does not change shape as it grows. When you have the word about the size indicated in your storyboard, release the mouse. Use the Select tool to click on the resized word and position it on the screen indicated in your storyboard. If necessary, readjust the size. Repeat those steps for each word in the frame. Make adjustments as needed to make the layout and size of the words appear as you prefer. Once you have the words about the size and position you want, you may want to select all of the words by holding a Shift key as you click on each word. With all words selected, you may resize them all at once or move the group to a new position. Make final adjustments on each word as needed to make sure they appear within the 4-3 safe title area while maintaining the layout you intend in terms of size and position for each word. Remember to save your composition often as you work. To change where your text will start and end on the timeline, select all of the text layers in a scene by holding the Shift key on your keyboard and clicking on each layer. Click on the end of the layer in the timeline and drag it where the scene should end. This is most likely where your timeline marker indicates a change of scene. Use the same technique to adjust the start of the layers in a scene. If you wish to change the characteristics of text, use the Select tool and click on the word. In the Character panel, you can change the font style by clicking the pull-down menu next to the font family. Use the up and down arrows on your keyboard to scroll through different fonts. As you scroll, you will see your selected text change. Stop when you find the font you want. With your text still selected, you can change its color by clicking on the Fill Color Square. When the Text Color window opens, select the new color you want, then click the OK button to choose it. If you wish to add a color outline to your text, click on the Stroke Color box. When the Text Color window opens, select the new color you want, then click the OK button to choose it. You can change the thickness of the outline by changing the Set the Stroke Width settings. You should use the same font style for all your text in each scene, and you may decide to use the same color too. I used a variety of colors just to make some things stand out. For example, money here. 